It's too late now to turn around and back again I made my bed and now I lay my head in it And I'm sorry I'm not perfect but I knew that I wouldn't be I guess it's for the best you know Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to the theater. Mmm, chocolatey. Today is Tuesday, and as you might be able to tell from the fact that I'm in the boardroom and um, have my laptop and have <laughs> these cotton pads to work on, I um, have a staff meeting today. <laughs> Apparently it's going to be a really intense one. I looked at the agenda. I don't think it's going to be too bad, uh, but time will tell and we shall see. Uh, but now I'm set up because last week I was really struggling to get stuff done in time for the staff meeting. And so I was already felt like I was behind at the beginning of it. So at least now I have my laptop set up so I don't need to pull it out, set it up, whatever. So I think I should be good. But yeah. Um, this is my last <laughs> work day in like a slew of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday in a slew of six. I'm very excited about that because I just, I feel like I haven't had a break in six days because I haven't had a break. But you know, last night going to my auntie's house for dinner was just like really rejuvenated me. Also, they booked in to stay in Blind Channel. I think I mentioned it. Did I? I don't know. But anyways, they booked in to stay in Blind Channel for... Uh, to, for a weekend in like just about mid-July, so, so exciting. Um, Cause they came out last year and they just fell in love. And so they're coming back again. Other than that, nothing, nothing new and exciting. I mean, I'm excited to clip the threads on these. I, I figured it out. I think I have, because I have two packs like this, I think there's 60 in each of those and another 30 here. So it's like 150 and I think this stack is five. So like I have 155 that I gotta cut. I still have more at home that I need to sew as well. But whipping a bunch of those off last night makes me feel a lot better about my prospe prospects, prospects, my prospects of finishing on time. But I'm gonna go finish this and um, get ready to start the day and try to get as much done between now and 10 o'clock when the meeting starts. I have uh, made a bit of a mess here. So I'm gonna take some time to clean this off. We just finished our staff meeting. It was almost a full two hours. I got everything done, but I think I think there's 45 here. So over half done, I'm, yeah, okay. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to grab the vacuum. Oh, it's not. Lunchtime, cause my mommy loves me. She dropped up some popcorn chicken <laughs> and some fries. My, my battery is dead. So we're switching to the phone. Here is my lunch, cause my mom loves me. She brought me some popcorn chicken and some fries and a pop and um, that mess is still over there. Because like I was not planning on being here this long. I thought I'd be done just after 12, <laughs> but this last week has been hectic. And oh my goodness, my, <laughs> I have a screen protector and it goes over the camera on this side. Anyways, my last week has been hectic and um, today is the day of getting everything back to a baseline. And uh, so I think I'm gonna be here for like eight hours, which was not planned. But I guess what can you do? I did get, all but 47 of those things done. So that's very exciting. So that'll at least give me a leg up tonight. You know when you just don't like charge batteries forever? So I just got home shortly, recently, recently is the word I want, from work. I got off about four, just before 4.30. It's five o'clock now. And um, 
my Canon M50 battery is dead. My backup battery is dead because I've been, because I had the fan on. That's normally where I plug it in and I've just been lazy. So we are on the G7X. We are going back old school for a little bit until some things charge. Um, we had the phone earlier, assuming I was able to um, transfer the footage in. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change out of my work clothes. Let me turn on a light. Do, do, do. And um, I'm just going to lay down for a little bit because I just I just need it. I am I'm just wiped from today. Like I normally don't work more than like four hour shifts. Like that's kind of my standard. And since Thursday I've worked like two over seven hour shifts. So my body's adjusting, but it'll be a nice ramp up before blind channel when it's like seven, eight hour shifts a week. So oh oh also I got let's see, can I show you? I got this ring in the mail today. Wow. I uh, see it's a frog and a lily pad. And then I've just got this one on this finger with my aura ring. Could you focus? Kind of. It's like stars and a moon. There we go. Cute. Huh. Okay. Horizontal time. Oh. Could you focus? Okay, horizontal time now. <laughs> I basically said I just need to dye a little bit, which I did. I put on my dress, which I love this dress so much. Um, <laughs> I put on my dress and laid down, but I didn't think to plug in <laughs> my charger with my battery before then. So this is where we're at. Um, took out my contacts too. We're just going to be lazy. Can, can we? <gasps> it balances on my sewing machine. Okay, so <sighs> this is where we're at. Today work was a blip. Um, in the the radar of the stress that I'm already feeling about all these sewing projects that I need to want to accomplish by next Sunday. <laughs> I fortunately do have Thursday off this week. I typically work Thursday, so that'll be nice because I'll have Tuesday and Thursday's days off to do stuff. But I am also training my replacement this week and next week. So that's going to be fun. But basically, we're just going to stress about stuff until then. <laughs> and good news, though... I got a lot of corners clipped um, during the staff meeting, so that was fantastic. And then I don't have too many more left to sew. I just have a batch of, I guess, probably 30-ish, uh, one pattern, and that's good. So the, the ideal goal for tonight would be to get everything sewn, all the threads clipped, or cut, and all the corners clipped. That would be the ideal goal. I'm like, and, and flipped, I don't think that's feasible. <laughs> At minimum, I would just love to get the rest of them sewn today because like, it's already quarter to six. I still have to cook dinner, um, eat dinner. I'm flagging in energy very quickly as well. So if I could even just get like those 30 or whatever sewn, that'd be great. If I could finish, could I finish all of them tomorrow? I think I have like 200. Maybe. I might be able to finish them all tomorrow, um, but if not, hopefully by Wednesday, and then I can finish up the other things. I have a couple of wristlets still, waiting on clips that are coming tomorrow, and then I think a couple scrunchies. I have, like, I have some scrunchies <laughs> that I've had cut forever. I even have them, they're like sewn to this point. I mean, they're, they're the bigger ones though, and they just need to be sewn along the edge. The elastic is in them. I just haven't done them. They've just been like hiding forever. So I, I'm optimistic because I'm always an optimistic person, but a little stressed, but optimistic. I also need to mail some things. Like I need to mail these and yeah. So we're optimistic, but we're stressed about all the projects but it's gonna be all right. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my laptop out of my bag. Because boy, was this beast packed today. So, headphones. <laughs> Toque. Camera with a dead battery. Important things. More. They look so good with the clipped corners. Like, they look ready to go. Oh, wait. There's more. Yes, I did pack these all to work because I'm a winner. Um, is there... Oh, there's... I need my laptop cord. Eh. Also, do you, can you tell I've been working with terry cloth? It's so bad. Okay, back in. We have a... A jar. <laughs> that we're gonna just 
put up here and ignore as as I tend to do. Um, I think that's it from the main portion of the bag, and then laptop. There we go. Okay, we're mostly put back together. I guess still have to plug it in, but I am just so exhausted. <laughs> I'm just, it's just it's it's been a day. It has been a day. So yeah, if I can get myself situated, whoa angle. If I can get myself situated before dinner, I think that'll be a win. And then hopefully after dinner, I can just power through those last 30 or so and then see where we're at. Cause, ugh, the whiny baby is going to whine. <laughs> Alrighty. We are officially back in business with a charged battery and the correct camera. It's just my disaster today. Honestly, <laughs> I'm usually so much better than that, but all of these and all of these are now sewn. That was the last of them. I have like a random bunch of off cuts that I just have, but there's no point in cutting them now. I figure eventually when I open up my Etsy store again, I will be like random mystery bundle. <laughs> Anyways, so I have a bunch to cut the threads. And then once I'm done with that, I have this lovely pile here that I've cut the threads, but still need to clip the corners. And then once I'm done layout and that, <laughs> which I think that's like 45, five, no, 47, and I have no idea how many are here. But once I am done with both of those sets, then I can start flipping, which is very exciting. And it's 8.30 now, so I could maybe start flipping. I don't think I would get through them all, but a start might be a good thing because I've just remembered that tomorrow I also have to do at least one thumbnail for Wednesday's vlog. So yeah, we're, um, we're getting there. <laughs> I'm so far behind on vlogs again. <sighs> okay, we'll figure it out. But for now, we're just gonna chill. We're gonna, and we're gonna get it done. <laughs> I did it. My hand is like severely cramped <laughs> from all the cutting, but everything is cut, which is exciting or trimmed and it's good to flip. So that's good. And then I have this pile and it's like, oh dear. I hope my lint brush will get it out there. Otherwise I will have to, um, I was gonna say mop it, vacuum it. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna clean up this. I'm gonna clean up my bed and um, eventually I'll like fold my clothes <laughs> and then probably think about getting ready for bed. We'll see what the time is because it's only quarter to 11 now and I'm surprisingly awake, but yeah, I'm feeling great. Like I, I really pushed myself to get these all trimmed and ready to go and I'm so happy about it because flipping them is still gonna be a thing because you gotta flip it and then you gotta push all the corners to make sure that they're like as cornery as they can be <laughs> and then the sewing, but May, I, I made great steps in the right direction. And once I finish these, I will feel so much better about what I have remaining to do. So at this rate, like if I can somehow finish all these tomorrow, then I could probably finish everything by Thursday and then have this weekend to do the tags and everything. So yeah, <sighs> it was a push. It was hard. And my hand is like literally cramping as I'm holding this tripod, but I'm feeling good. I put these all up here last night before I went to bed and I woke up, I was like, whoa, I have a lot to do. I don't know how many, uh, they're probably about stacks of 30 each. So one, one, no, yeah, 120, <laughs> 150 left. I did get some flipped. So we're working on them. These ones are all good to sew. These ones I'm just starting with. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday today, which is very exciting because I don't have to work. <laughs> it was just a long six days in a row. So my body's a little sore, I think. Um, my hand is definitely still sore from cutting all the things with the scissors. And it is just after 11. I woke up at like 10 and uh, did not move for quite some time because I was just enjoying laying in bed and watching YouTube. So I think it's going to be a, a lazy day in regards to actually like moving my body and stuff, but it's going to be a pretty intensive day trying to get all these done because that is the plan. There is so much. I don't, you can't see it, but as I'm touching, oh, maybe you can, like there's just fluff falling off of it. Anyways, um, I think that's going to be the plan for now. I just had a little snack because I was like uh, leaving my room to cook. Um, so I, I had a, a couple chips, <laughs> super healthy breakfast. And um, now I'm gonna watch stuff 
and do this very, very fun thing. <laughs> I also at some point today have to do at least one thumbnail, like I discussed. Uh, yes, I think it was yesterday. And um, I would love to fold my clothes and put them away and like take out my garbage because I've been doing so much um, fabric work and there's just been like scraps and scraps and scraps and, and snacks and snacks and snacks in my bin. So yeah, but that's where we're at. Feeling pretty good after the sleep in. I don't even know how much I slept last night. I, I haven't checked yet. I just, I just, I don't know, man. I just don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I, um, yeah, I'm just gonna be here all day, I think. With you, the sun is shining 24 7. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get. I have been struggling. <laughs> It took me, let's see, I think I started around like 11, 11.30 probably to flip the rest of these and I have now done that. They're all done. I would say 11.30 so then 12.30, 1.30, 2.30. It took me close to three hours to get everything flipped and get all the corners pressed out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort them based on the color that will be required for this side because obviously the base will be white. And then um, I guess we're going to start sewing. Oh wow, it's currently... <laughs> 3.30. I did stop and have lunch kind of late. Um, and I'm just like super like lazy and tired. And I think it's probably because I've been in my room for most of the day. I've actually got a sweater on because it is only 24 degrees in my room. I don't know, man. My body is just does not understand how to regulate and deal with temperature anymore because of the getting up to 29. I hope it does not get up like past 24 because it'd be brutal. But yeah, I've just got my cute new old navy sweater, which I don't know if I love, but it's cozy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna sort these, start sewing, and then maybe I'll get them all done. I don't know, we'll see. I am I have a minor feeling that I might run out of thread, like the correct color, but we'll see. But also like, look how, I, oh my goodness, these are so cute. It's gonna be so hard. For me to not be like i need some of everything because those are cute this one is cute i'm definitely keeping some of the mushroom ones for myself in all fairness i know there are extra ones of this for sure and then like the cacti and then the other cacti <laughs> It's so hard when you make stuff that you just want the stuff. Hence my, I mean, the bag I made specifically for me, but these two lanyards here, I'm like, yes, I must have those. Anyways, to doing the things. You can tell I'm sewing when the chaos <laughs> reaches this level, but we're doing pretty, I mean, it's a disaster, but that's the last I have to do. I just pulled a batch, which I still need to sew, so I have that over there, but we've got, all these sewn and I'm about to clip all these. And by clip, I mean like clip the uh, openings together just to make it a little bit easier. So that's exciting. I think I'm super close to the halfway point, which is exciting. I <laughs> I still don't know if I'm gonna get them done today because it's just about nine o'clock and I still need to do at least one thumbnail. It's gonna take me like 10 minutes to do. It's just a matter of having to turn on my computer because I still have not turned it back on since the power went out. I was <laughs> um, so turning it on, transferring the footage to my laptop because that's where I have Photoshop and um, it won't take that long. It's, it's going to take probably the same amount of time to get ready to edit it that it will take me to edit it. So I'm gonna do this batch, I think at least, then maybe I'll switch focus. I'm kind of afraid that I don't have enough pink to do the cranes over there, so I might have to go to the fabric store tomorrow, which I would be totally okay with because I got an email from Fabricland and they had really cute fabric that I want. <laughs> I'm the worst because the problem is as my stacks of fabric are dropping down like it used to be crammed in there as it's dropping down I need to replace it right <laughs> terrible attitude but when I was flipping this stuff earlier I bought this um online in the summer while I was out in blind channel and I was like yes I must buy more fabric online <laughs> while in blind channel so <sighs> You know, I just, I really like making things. It's really neat to be like, I think I want to make a thing and then to be able to make a thing. Also, the rest of my clips arrived. So that is exciting. So I can finish, 
finish. I can finish. I can finish the wristlets um, as soon as I finish <laughs> these. Uh, and then and then we're almost done. Just after the wristlets are done, just a couple of scrunchies. And then I think that fabric that I just crammed in the top, um, I think I'm going to see if I can make some more bandanas out of that because I've made three of them, but two I'm giving one to Strudel and one to uh, Millie. So I'd like to have more to sell because I love that fabric. I'm obsessed with that fabric, but <laughs> that's where we're at now. I've been crappy at vlogging today, but honestly, it is truly just because all I have been doing all day is sitting at this desk working on these projects because as I mentioned, I think it was yesterday, we're panicking. We are panicking, we're panicking, but as I'm getting closer to finishing these, the panic levels are going down. I mean, granted, I still have, I think, 30 wristlets to sew and probably somewhere in that vein of scrunchies to sew, but we're on the the, the, the downhill. What is, what's, what's the word? Down, we're trending down, what? Home stretch. We are in the home stretch. So, well, once these are done. So that's it. Very exciting. Not only does terry cloth get fluff over me, it just like wreaks havoc on my machine. Oh, the poor thing. So I like to kind of clean this out, <laughs> you know, after <laughs> uh, every, uh, uh, after, after I've done a bit, which I have definitely done a bit. So I'm definitely over halfway now. I think I've like 45-ish left, and I think I had close to 200, so yeah, we, we, um, overachieved for sure, so I, it's, 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 ah, I can't, my brain is not linearly functioning, it's a uh, quarter after 10 now, so I'm gonna clean this up, move it out of the way, like clean this out because you uh, move it out of the way and then do that thumbnail and then probably pack things up and start to get ready to sleep, but I definitely had a super productive day. We're still, it's still gonna be like an hour worth of just cutting these threads off of it once I finish sewing, but that's probably, I would guess approximately three hours remaining of work, if that, to get all the cotton pads done and everything schnipped. And then I do have to pack it up later, like I've got ribbon to tie them into the groups, but still the end is in sight. I just took off my headphones for the first time in like an hour and um, it's pouring rain outside and I had no idea. I'm also like having a serious allergic reaction and I think it's to the dust that has just been just building up everywhere. Cause like working with fabric and stuff that produces dust and then it's just dusty in my room all the time. And so I'm dying a little bit, but it's probably gonna be okay. I got, four of the five vlogs that I have edited, uploaded with thumbnails. So that is fantastic. We're good for another until next Wednesday, I think. So like a, a week. And I really need to get on editing the other things, but I'm sewing a lot of stuff. So that's another thing that I kind of need to keep in mind. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven it's like eight more vlogs I need to edit oh I just I can't keep up I mean the nice thing is is worst case scenario because I do have almost a month-long buffer I can bring them out and edit them with me in blind channel but um I'd rather not have that pressure first thing <laughs> and when I'm out there I kind of want to do videos more about what it is to live in a remote location and what the logistics are of that and and etc. I haven't really planned it out. I've thought about it, but haven't planned it out. But I think I'm just gonna clean up and then go to sleep. What's today? It's Tuesday. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Good night. Oh.